Joining me now is Wendy Davis, senior advisor to Planned Parenthood Texas Votes and founder of the Defend of Defend the Frontline, which provides aid for those at risk of prosecution because they provide access to abortion care. It's good to see you, Wendy. Uh, let's talk about this event tonight because a lot of people, you know, don't really view Texas as uh, in play uh, necessarily for Vice President Harris. So, what would be in your mind the point of doing a big rally in Texas tonight? Well, it's, I think, threefold. Number one, you know, Texas is moving in the right direction. If you compare what we've been doing presidential cycle over presidential cycle, Barack Obama lost Texas by 16 points in 2012. Joe Biden lost Texas by five and a half points in 2020. So we are going the right direction, unlike some other states that have had a lot of attention paid to them. And I think part of her visit here is out of respect for the hard work. And of course, what we understand is going to be the ultimate um, big prize of turning Texas blue in the not too distant future. She's also here for college. Colin Allred. Um, Colin, of course, is locked in a tough battle with Ted Cruz. They are neck and neck. He actually has a fabulous opportunity to unseat him. And as you said, she is here to make her closing argument against Donald Trump, and a huge part of that, of course, being reproductive rights. And there's no place that has seen more of the impact of what it means to lose the access to safe, legal abortion care than the women of Texas have seen. And it's a perfect thing for her to do as she highlights this to the rest of the country. Yeah, and it is a huge state, uh, I believe the second most populous state. Doesn't hurt the, uh, the, uh, the total vote, if you want to look at the popular vote of running up the numbers in Texas. That doesn't hurt at all. Let's listen to Ted Cruz trying to sort of wriggle out of his support for banning abortion. But isn't your personal preference relevant here? I mean, you're a leader in this state. You're elected statewide. And so I recognize you don't like my answer, no, that's but, that's, but, that's that's okay, but that's okay. I, my answer... You're is, not answering it, no, no, I am answering it. You just don't like it. What I am saying is that is a decision for the state legislature and the governor. I'll point out, I'm not in the state legislature. I'm not the governor. Neither is Colin Allred. Uh, the, the challenge with that, with the challenge of that, of course, Wendy, is that the governor uh, and the state legislature in Texas are essentially allowing Texas women to die and uh, allowing, uh, you know, infants born of rape and forcing women who have been raped to give birth. That's what they're doing. That's exactly right, Joy. I mean, these Republicans like Ted Cruz and Donald Trump have laid their own trap, and now they're trying to wiggle out of it and not be held to account for the outfall that they've created. We have a rise in maternal mortality rate, excuse me, a rise in maternal mortality of 56% in Texas. We have a rise in infant mortality of 13%. There has been a study released that more than 26,000 rape-related births have happened in Texas since our ban went into place.